In today's episode, what to consider when buying a new printer. The cost of printers varies wildly. Obviously, you shouldn't spend more than you can afford on your new device. You also need to consider the ongoing price of replacement toner or ink. It's also worth checking whether you can pick up third-party ink cartridges for your printer and whether you can refill the ink cartridges. Be aware that using unapproved ink cartridges might void your warranty. Regarding connectivity, you need to ask yourself two questions. Where are you going to print from? And which devices are you going to print from? Most printers on the market offer wired connectivity. However, some models also offer Wi-Fi connectivity and Bluetooth connectivity. Bluetooth is great for printing from local mobile devices, like your phone and tablet. Compact, portable, or desktop? Printers come in many different shapes and sizes. If you're looking for a printer that fits in a small area, there are now many compact versions available. Sure, you might have to sacrifice the scanner and copier functionality, but it's a good option for occasional users. At the other end of the scale, some devices are significantly larger. They are normally aimed at the small office market and would be bulky in your home. Or, if you're feeling saucy and you're looking to get into the printing business, you can go for a commercial unit. Printer speed is measured in pages per minute, PPM. A printer will have different PPM speeds for pages of text and pages of images. You will find massive variation in the PPM scores of consumer-grade inkjet printers. You could come across anything from 5 ppm to 25 ppm. It's kinda like, the difference between these two forms of travel. Not all printers can accept legal-sized paper. Similarly, the scanner beds on many all-in-one printers are too small for legal documents. Some high-end all-in-one machines have a separate scanner feeding tray on the top, called an ADF. You can use it to scan larger documents or to stack multiple papers and scan them all into a single PDF file. It's time for pros and cons. First we will look at the more common inkjet printer. On the pro side low initial cost. High quality output, capable of printing fine and smooth details. Capable of printing in vivid color, good for printing pictures. Easy to use. No warm up time. Quieter and faster than a dot matrix printer. You don't need paper with holes in it. On the con side. The print head is less durable, prone to clogging and damage. Ink bleeding, ink carried sideways causing blurred effects on some papers cannot use highlighter marker on inkjet prints. Moisture affects the printing system. Prints can easily smudge. Inkjet is not meant for high volume printing. Original ink cartridges are expensive. Prints emerge from the printer slightly wet and will need time to dry. Now for laser jet or toner type printers. On the pro side, they have the fastest printing speed. Typically, longer lifespan. Long term non printing will not cause problems. Suitable for mass print jobs lower quality requirements for paper. Their efficiency is very high. Cost per page of a laser printer is less than the inkjet printer. Much less noise. On the con side, they have high initial investment cost. The maintenance cost is high. Laser printers cannot reproduce complex images or photos like photo inkjet printers. They are very bulky and difficult to repair. Color laser printer tends to be expensive to run as a multiple toners are needed. Additional features? Printers can do more than just print. All-in-one devices can also, copy, scan, even send faxes, to those stuck back in time. You can expect to pay a bit more for all-in-one printers, but for many people, the extra capabilities are worth the additional expense. Also, keep an eye open for manufacturer-specific added features such as special photo printing modes and web apps. Have a great day!